Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome you back to another movie review. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Kickboxer 3, The Art of War, which I think is a really fun sequel. Um, this is the first one to go direct to video because Kickboxer 2 actually got a limited uh, theatrical release, which is pretty cool. But this is the first one to go direct to video. And this movie came out at a time when the uh, martial arts market was very ripe and for the picking. And there was a lot of films that came out around the same time that had similar titles and um, were playing off of Van Damme. And I remember saying in a video long ago, um, I don't know if it was my Bloodsport review or Kickboxer, it was one of the early Van Damme videos that I did. And I said that Van Damme is probably the most ripped off action star of all time. Because if you think about it, you have Bloodsport, you have Kickboxer, um, you know, all these Van Damme films, and then you have a lot of these, like again, like I just said, around the time that this movie came out, you had a lot of uh, sequels and imitators and ripoffs, like, you know, you had, because um, this movie came out in 1992, the year that I was born, and you already had two No Retreat, No Surrender sequels. You had two Kickboxer sequels. Um, Cyborg 2, I think, came out a year later. I think 93. But then you had movies like uh, King of the Kickboxers, American Kickboxer, um, you know, uh, Blood Match, Blood Fight, um, you know, Iron Heart. Triple Impact with Dale Apollo Cook and um, you just had all of these these martial arts movies, these karate movies that had similar titles and similar storylines and you know people imitating the Van Damme style. So yeah, Van Damme um, you know was a huge huge draw back in the day and you know he got ripped off quite a bit. But hey, I mean if if that's what's going on, I guess you're doing a good job, so I don't know. But yeah, this movie came out around that time, and there's one of the trailers, and it even says it on the VHS box, which I have it. It's like, this is the real kickboxer, you know, the sequel to the Van Damme hit, you know, and, you know, I thought that was kind of funny. It's like, all right, all these, you know, you're making sequels to this, to Van Damme's movie, and granted, at least these movies follow the same continuity, um, sort of, which I'll get into in a minute here. But, um, you know, Bloodsport, you know, it kept with the Kumite. No Retreat, No Surrender went in different directions, but that's okay. Cyborg had nothing to do with uh, the first movie. Universal Soldier 2 and 3 do, but I still haven't watched those. I'm actually, after I'm done recording this video, I'm going to watch them. Um, so ready for that. At least Time Cop stayed within there. But you know, but but even so, like the continuity of Kickboxer is kind of weird. Because the first movie you have Van Damme. And then two, three, and four, you have Sasha Mitchell. And then the first one and two, he's fighting Tong Po. And then this one, he's in Brazil and he's running around doing stuff. Four, he's fighting Tong Po again. And then you have part five, which has Mark Dacascas. And he's doing something different. And then they were actually going to do a part six with Mark Dacascos. And he was going to fight Tong Po, but it never happened. So yeah, I mean, continuity is a little weird there. You know, it's kind of like Highlander with the continuity, you know. But I don't think it's weird as Highlander, but you know, you get the picture. But anyway, I know we went on a little tangent there. But but I, I really like Kickboxer 3. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I liked how they brought back Zien. For the last time. I don't know why he wasn't in Kickboxer 4. They never explained it. I wish they would have. Um, but I'll get more into that. In that review. Um, but. Yeah I mean I liked how. They went to Brazil. thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if they actually shot the movie there. I probably did. They probably shot it. Maybe not in Brazil. But in another <clears throat> South American country. But I like the location. You know, I liked how they go there. Um, I liked how they were running around shooting guns. Like, you know, there's the, the scene where they go in this house and there's like this big shootout in there. So I thought that was cool. You know, it was cool to see that. Um, 
you know, I really like the the final showdown. The final fight was good. There's um, some other fights in the film, but uh, I really like the final fight. And um, the training scenes were cool when the bad guy was making David Sloan do all this crazy training. Like, I thought that was pretty cool to see. But yeah, I think this is a fun movie. I think it's a, a fun sequel. Again, I know a lot of people don't like these sequels. Um, and that's fine. You know, if you don't like the movie, that more power to you. you know, that's cool, but I like them. And again, I didn't grow up with these films. I didn't grow up with the sequels. But you know, I remember seeing the videos at the video store. I didn't see these until I was in high school. I think I remember... Yeah, I rented. I remember renting uh, two, three, and four from Blockbuster Online, and maybe five. And I'm not sure if I. I remember maybe renting five or downloading five. I can't remember how I saw part five. It was one of those two. I think I might have rented it, and then, or no, no, no. I think I watched five here on YouTube. Actually, to be honest, yeah, I think I watched part five here on YouTube. Um, that's how I saw Perfect Weapon completely for the first time. I remember watching that here. Um, back when YouTube was less restrictive on that kind of stuff. I mean, you can still find movies here on YouTube, but it's not as extensive as it used to be. Because um, of copyright and all that. But, but yeah, this one, uh, David Sloan goes to Brazil for a uh, demonstration, a kickboxing demonstration. And he ends up getting involved in a, uh, a match. You know, there's this guy, this, uh, the, bad, the bad guy has this fighter who roughs up this kid during the demonstration. And uh, David goes to fight him. Or no, 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 he's there, <clears throat> he's there for the fight, excuse me. Um, but he does a little demo before. And then along the way, he meets these two kids. Uh, the little boy is a pickpocket. And the little girl, or the girl, doesn't speak at all. And they're, they're street kids, like they don't have a family and stuff. So uh, he kind of takes them under his wing and helps them. And then the girl gets kidnapped. And they find out that the guy who is promoting the fight is actually a... Um, he owns like a, a prostitution ring. And he's trying to sell this girl off. So um, David and Zien uh, go to save this girl... And, um, you know, take out this guy. So, yeah, I mean, I like the story. Uh, it was interesting how, again, they went to Brazil. And they got mixed up in this. And I like, again, how there's a little gunplay in the film. It was cool to see uh, Zian running around shooting guys. You know, that was, it was kind of funny. Cool to see, though. You know, it was cool to see. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like this one. Uh, Harry Manfredini did the music. Who is, uh, you know, Friday the 13th. Everyone knows he's the guy behind the music from the Friday the 13th films. Which I didn't know until I saw the film. You know, it said music by Harry Manfredini. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, interesting. You know, interesting to see that that name on there. That's cool. You know, I like that. Um, yeah, just, you know, different. But yeah, I mean, I like the action scenes. Again, um, there's a little... Uh, there's a little fight scene, like, uh, David Sloan and Zien go to meet these guys at, like, this old, like, cafe-looking place, and they get into a little fisticuffs there. You know, they're running around shooting guys. They're at this party, and David gets into some fisticuffs there. So I thought the fight choreography was good. Um, you know, then there's the final showdown where he fights this, uh, the Brazilian fighter, you know, beats the crap out of him. And then goes after the bad guy. And, um, you know, good comeuppance because the little kid, uh, the, the brother of the girl that gets kidnapped, he kills the bad guy. So that was kind of, you know, different different to see that. It was cool, though. Um, but, yeah, I like the film. Again, I know that people do not. But that's just me. And I know a lot of people don't like Sasha Mitchell. And I don't know why he never hit it bigger, like... You know, I know Step by Step was on for a while. He was in most of the seasons of that. And then I know he left the show because there was some legal stuff going on in his life. And I guess that's why he never did Kickboxer 5. Either that or, or maybe they went in a different direction on purpose. Or, 
maybe he turned him down. I don't know. We'll we'll never know the answer to that. But again, you know, if uh, if we could get some features, you know, for these movies or you know the first movie and maybe a little bit on the sequels, you know, we would know stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. But yeah, um, I thought it was a fun film. Like I said, I like how it's it's different. I know a lot of people complain because Tom Poe's not in it. But, you know, it was cool that they did something different. They brought Tom Poe back in part four anyway. Although, you know, I didn't like a lot of the things with him in that movie. Um, which I'll get into next when I review Kickboxer 4. But yeah, you know, this was cool again. Um, oh, another thing that was cool about this movie. Um, when they first get to Brazil, there's a scene where they walk up on a capoeira demonstration. And I think this is one of this is the first movie to feature capoeira. I mean, I, I know a lot of people will say Only the Strong, but Only the Strong came out in 93. This came out a year before. But again, I guess people don't care because, it, number one, it's a kickboxer sequel. And number two, it was directed video So people don't care. But yeah, I think this is the first movie to feature capoeira. And uh, the song is in the movie, Para No Way. Um, so that was cool. So yeah, I like that. I'm like, oh, you know, it's before Only the Strong. Um, and I liked how uh, David wears uh, Benny the Jet Yurkida shirts. Because I know he worked on the second film. I'm not sure if he worked on this movie or not. I know he didn't work on part four. But I think, I know he worked on the second movie. Because Albert Pion met with uh, several different martial artists, uh, Dan and Asanto, like trying to get fight coordinators, and Dan and Asanto told him about Benny the Jet, and Benny the Jet, I know, worked on the second movie, and I think he might have worked on this movie as well, I'm not sure, I have to look more into it, um, you know, but, yeah, I think he worked on two and three, I know he worked on two, for a fact, I think he might have worked on this movie as well, so that was cool. But yeah, uh, I think that this movie's pretty fun. Again, um, it's cool. I know I keep beating the dead horse here, but it was cool to see the gunplay. Um, I like the the fights in the movie. You know, there's more fights than the second movie because the second movie didn't have a lot of action in it. But that's okay. You know, that's a little slower pace. This one is much faster pace. Um, you know, I like the villain. I thought the villain was was all right. He gets a good comeuppance at the end. The kid just walks up and stabs him. Um, so it's like, yeah, fuck that guy, he's dead. Um, but yeah, fun sequel, really liked it. Um, yeah, so anyway, folks, as always, um, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned because next I'm going to review another sequel that I liked. Um, Kickboxer 4, The Aggressor. Some nitpicks about the film. This one I didn't really, have, I didn't have any nitpicks with, it's not part 3. But part 4, um have some nitpicks with but i'll get into that when we get to that review so anyway as always take care thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys soon have a good one